Kittle is a ton of fun to use. Here we've got a lot of different templates. And when you click on a template, you can click on individual images, you can move things around, you can rotate it, you can even change the color, and you can really make a design your own. Now the big question comes up, what can you make in Kittle? Well, in this video, I've got 10 cool projects that you can work on inside of Kittle. Let's jump in. Now, if you've never heard of Kittle before, or if you're interested in learning more, I'll put a link to Kittle in the video description below. Just a heads up, it is an affiliate link. That just means if you click on the link and you purchase the Kittle subscription, I would receive a small commission. Thing number one you can make on Kittle is t-shirts. Yes, one of the easiest and best ways you can make a t-shirt design is with Kittle. You can click on the template, you can change the text around, you can change the color, and you can also remove the background. Pretty easy to do. Down on the bottom right, I'm just gonna click the layers panel, expand out the layer, and then the very bottom layer is the background. I'm gonna click that to remove it. You can also remove the texture as well, right there. And now I've got a PNG file, which has a transparent background. And this looks good on a t-shirt or a sweatshirt, any type of apparel. Thing number two is posters. What you can do here on Kittle, right on the main page, is you can see here at the top, there's different templates and there's t-shirt templates. Well, here's an art print template. And these are specifically designed with art prints in mind, fine art prints. So if you're making a poster, this can be really nice. Now there's also presets as well. So I'm gonna go back here to the main page. I'm gonna click on new project on the top right. And then you can choose your artboard size. So you can pick your width and your height and your pixel size, making it 300 DPI, for example. There's also these POD presets. So inside here is, for example, Displate, which is a standard size for a fine art print. I'm gonna click Create. This gets me a nice big artboard. I'm simply gonna click the artboard. Shift one brings that zoom in to focus so the whole page is now visible. And I can now begin to create my fine art print either by using a template or by just simply creating something from scratch. Cool thing number three is a book cover. Here I am on Amazon KDP. I can actually create a cover template, which I can then use inside of Kittle. So on Amazon, I've typed in my specs for my book, my page count. I'm going to have a 300 page book, and then I can calculate the dimensions of the book. There's the size of my book, and I can actually download a template right here. It gives you a zip file, and the zip file gives you a PNG file. PNG file looks just like this. It's basically a picture. So I'm gonna upload this now into Kittle. So what you wanna do when you're looking at your template is you wanna see the overall dimensions here. So this is a seven inch by a 10 inch book, but remember there's a spine there as well. So that means the overall dimensions is actually 15 inches by 10 and a quarter overall dimensions right there. So that's the size of our Kittle template. So on Kittle now, I'm gonna change this so it's 15 inches wide and it's 10 and a quarter inches tall. Now when I click Create, you'll see I've got my artboard. I'm gonna click Shift 1. That makes it nice and big. And now I'm gonna upload that Amazon KDP template. I'm gonna click the Uploads button right here. I've got my PNG file right here. I'm gonna click on it and now it's gonna load in. So I'm simply gonna move this here now to the top left and I'm gonna expand it right like this. It's a perfect fit. And now this becomes my background layer and I can now put other images inside my book cover. I can add some text. I can make this look exactly the way I want. And then when I'm happy with this, I simply go into layers and I simply remove the background, which was my template. So now I'm gonna export this as a PNG and this would be my book cover. I'd also put text along the spine and I would fill it with some back text and images as well. Cool thing number four is invitations. When I go onto the main page and I click on stationary right here, you're gonna see cards, invitations, e-cards, menus. You've also got a bunch of different submenus here. Mother's Day cards, Valentine's Day cards, birthday cards. I'm gonna to go to wedding invitations and we can see some absolutely beautiful templates already made. This can really save you some time and energy. Or if you're selling in the print on demand space, you can change out who's getting married and the details, and you can quickly and efficiently make some great looking invitations for your clients. And remember, everything inside of Kittle is editable. So for example, if I don't like these flowers, I simply double click, I can move this, pull it out, move this, get rid of it. Instantly, I've cleaned this up, no more flowers. But let's say 
I wanted something else. So I can click on the Elements tab and I can search. Let's say I wanted to find a poppy, for example. There we go. I can stick a poppy over here now in the corner. By holding down the Alt key, I can also copy it. This now is a completely different looking design than before in just a matter of seconds. Cool thing number five is social media posts. At the top, I've clicked on social. You can see here Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. I'm gonna click on YouTube thumbnails. Look at all these different thumbnails that you can make. And this can certainly make your life easier. It's properly formatted. You could simply change out the text and within a matter of seconds, you can have a completely unique thumbnail designed for your social media needs. Thing number six is birthday cards. If you're selling on a site like Zazzle, for example, you may be selling stationery, and that includes birthday cards. So I'm simply gonna click on the stationery menu here at the top, and then I'm gonna click on birthday cards right here. It's going to get me the front of a bunch of different birthday cards. As you can see, they're already predefined. Now you can obviously change these out as needed. So this is a great looking design. And then what you can do is also create the back of the card very easily simply by removing out the front of the design. So by removing this, this now can become the back. So you would just upload the front, you'd upload the back, and then you'd have a great looking outer shell of a card. Cool thing number seven is logos. There's actually multiple ways you can create logos inside of Kittle. Here I am on the main page. So it says, what do you want to create? Well, right underneath here, there is a section for logo templates. I can click on that and I can see a whole bunch of really cool logos that are coming up. I personally really like circular logos. So this to me is very cool. So what you can do with this is simply click inside and you can remove pieces that you may not want. I'm gonna remove the background here and I'm just going to have this circular piece right like this. I'm gonna center it. I'm gonna click inside now to change the name of the team. And now I can insert my own logo for my hockey team. Another way you can create logos is right in the top under tools. There's some AI tools. Well, there's an AI logo generator. I'm gonna click on that. And I'll simply click create your logo right here. So I'm going to describe my logo. I'm going to say hockey team featuring an angry bear and now I will generate my logo. Now it gives you the option, if you like the logos, you can click thumbs up. If you don't like the logos, you can click thumbs down. I'm gonna click on this one, Mammoth. I'm gonna have it as a new project, and this now gives me an option to start creating a whole new logo. Within seconds, I can start manufacturing a brand new logo for my hockey team, for any sports team. Cool thing number eight is product mockups. So we can make these right in Kittle. I'm gonna go up here to Tools, and right here is mockups. It's pretty straightforward here to use. There's a mockup generator. I'm gonna click this create mockups button right here. And then from here, you're gonna upload your actual design. It can be a JPEG file or a PNG file. There's a few different options. You're gonna simply upload the design right here. Okay, so here's a t-shirt design that I made for a sports team. We can see here as I move it over to the edge of the shirt, we can really play around with how this looks in terms of the mockup. So for example, this guy here, He's also the proud owner of a Manitoba Knight shirt, just like that. That's a great looking mock-up, and then you can just download it right over here. There's a really nice generic mock-up as well, and I think that is a really nice thing if you're selling on Etsy or on your own website. Cool thing number nine is stickers. It's pretty easy to make a sticker. What I'm gonna do is click this Aloha Saltwater Soul, and there's a couple things you can do here. If you're comfortable with a square sticker, you can simply just upload this to whatever website is going to make your sticker. If you'd rather have it be a circle, create a circle. I'm gonna go over here to the left-hand side, click elements, basic shapes, I'm gonna click a circle, and now I'm gonna move the circle so that it is over top of the design. I'm gonna center it, and now I'm gonna right click and say send to back. I'm gonna change the color of the circle simply by clicking it. I'm gonna make it a different color. Now I can make an outer lip on it if I want simply by going Control C, Control V. That's going to paste a secondary circle. I'm gonna change the color on that. I'll simply move it to the back, right click backwards. I'll make it a tiny bit bigger, and then I will center it as well. And as you can see here, we've now got a circle around the circle. You can do this again one more time. You can stagger these pretty easily and it makes a great looking sticker design. Remember, you can remove your background 
pretty easily. Go into layers, down at the very bottom is the background, click it and click the little eyeball, that will remove it. So now I've got a great looking circular sticker, which I think looks awesome. Cool thing number 10 you can make in Kittle is labels. To make a label, you go to the top menu and you actually go under learn. And then there's a whole sub menu that says create designs. And here I'm gonna create a label. So this is now a label maker. I'm gonna click right here in the middle, design a label. Okay, and I get a standard artboard here in the middle. And then on the left hand side, I have a bunch of templates. As I scroll on down, I'm gonna pick one here. Oh, this black cat one looks great. I'm gonna click that. And it's now added the template. Now, one thing that it'll do uh, is it adds it outside of the artboard. So I'm gonna go and zoom out and you can see here, the artboard is actually over on the side. So what you can do is you can either delete the artboard or you can move it onto the artboard. I'm just simply going to delete out the artboard and I'm just gonna use this now as my artboard. I've clicked Shift and one to zoom this in and now I can use this as my label for my cool candle or whatever product I'm making. I really hope you found this video helpful. I love using Kittle. You can make all sorts of things in Kittle. If you have a question for me or a comment about Kittle, please do throw it down in the comment section below. And here's another video on how you can have some fun using Kittle.